Join me today for a Friendsgiving. Pumpkin harvest soap. I think I got this at um, Hobby Lobby the beginning of the fall season. So it smells really good. All right, let's get this blueberry pie ready to go in the oven. What I want to do is put an egg wash on it. I'm going to add a few tablespoons of water to this. Beat this up. I'm going to use this also on the apple pie so I won't get rid of it. And yes, we are baking this fully frozen. That way we don't get things soggy. It'll all cook up together. And you'll end up cooking it longer than you normally would. I have the link to the video on the how long you cook it for because I don't even know. I'm just honestly sticking it in my oven and letting it go and I'll see when it's done. Now I'll get going on the apple pie. If you use pre-made pie crusts, I always stick them on top of the stove top while the oven's preheating and it gets to chill off of them. Here is my apple pie filling. Now, if you watch the apple pie video, you know what went down. If not, the link is below. Let's get the bottom one down. Still a little cold, but that's okay. Still workable. I'll just pinch these together. So the apple pie and apple crisp video is linked down below for you so you can see how I did the pre-made the apple crisp and the apple pie and how you too can get it in this shape because it just is easier than, it's just easier and faster I think just doing it this way. All right, so now that that is in there, I'm gonna take this out and just place it right in there, bam! So easy. Look at that. <laughs> I'm making apple pie without doing all the work right now. All the hard brunt work, right? What pies do you love making for Thanksgiving? What are your go-tos? Ah! <laughs> we could piece that on. No problem. Um, we are huge pumpkin pie people. Huge. Oh my gosh. We love pumpkin pie. The boys devour it. But I can't just say the boys because they all love pumpkin pie. The girls too. So a few of us like the blueberry pie. Not everybody, but blueberry pie is my favorite. And like lemon meringue, but I still don't know how to make a good lemon meringue. So one day, right? One day. So I'm gonna make some marks in here to vent. never know how to make the venting part pretty. You just do it, right? Okay, let's get the egg wash on this as well. That is done. Let's get these in the oven. So I don't want to cook the pies on the baking sheet, so I'm going to put this baking sheet with some parchment paper in the oven to catch any spills. I need to get back the, um, the liners that go underneath. I need to find those and do that. So that will hopefully catch anything that drips. Here goes the apple. Here goes the blueberry. Oh yes, the house is gonna smell so good today. Okay, those are gonna do its thing for quite a while, maybe about an hour. I don't know, we'll see. All right, now that the pies are in the oven, I wanna get going on the dinner rolls. I always make my mom's dinner rolls, Ma's dinner rolls. That video is linked below. They're so good, but today, I wanna try the Griffiths um, rolls. This is the cookbook. I'll leave a link for it down below. This is a good one. And their bread recipe is yummy, and I have made their soup, their bread bowls, and we have had clam chowder in them. So good. So I want to try these today. So Ma, I will be making them on Thanksgiving, but she's watching. My mom always watches. I love you. I just want to try a, di a different roll tonight, okay? I'm not straying. Thanksgiving, we will have your rolls, but I want to try these. So let's get going. I got to grab my Bosch out of the pantry. All right, here's my Bosch. I could use my KitchenAid, but this really handles dough beautifully, so we're gonna use the Bosch. I'm going to half 
this recipe because it says that with the, her bread recipe that it makes 40 rolls out of it. So I'm gonna half this recipe today. So I can smell the pies, they smell so good. All right, so I have my container of bread flour right here. This is what we're gonna use today. And I've got my bag of yeast that I keep in the freezer. It's a big brick that I use, like sap yeast, and then pour it into a baggie and then get it in the freezer. So I have that, I have my sugar. I'm gonna run my water to get it warm. And let's get making this roll recipe. This house is gonna smell so good with the bread and the pies. And then we're gonna hit it with stuffing and turkey. Yum. In this measuring cup, I'm gonna do the yeast. I have a half cup of warm water and I'm gonna do a tablespoon and a half of yeast. I'm gonna mix this around and then I need to add a tablespoon of sugar to this as well. We're gonna let this um, just sit and double in size for about 10 minutes. So I'm gonna just stick it in the microwave where it's nice and warm and I'm not turning it on, just sticking it there. And let it double. I'm gonna get this back in the freezer and then let's start on the other part. For halving the recipe, five cups of flour. One, two, three, four, five. All right, and then I'm gonna add a fourth cup of sugar and then one half teaspoon of salt. Yes. Okay, I have my one and a half cups of water. My yeast has doubled in size. And then I'm gonna grab my oil, and that's a fourth cup of oil, and we're gonna get all of that in there and mix it up. Thank goodness I have that under there because it is bubbling and dripping. So that's the apple pie right there. So thank goodness. But they're looking good. I had them start at 350 degrees. Um, they were going for about an hour at that and then I cranked up the heat to 420 and they're getting crisp and perfect. Look at that. And then my pumpkin pie is right here thawing, doing a good job. Okay, that needed great. So what I did was grab a bowl that it could grow in. We're gonna spray this with some spray. Get this dough in there and then it's gonna rise. Let it double in size for about an hour. So I'm gonna cover it with a cloth and I'm just gonna let it sit in the microwave because it's nice and warm in there and snug and let it rise for an hour and let it double. Thank goodness for that baking sheet. Holy cow. Look at all that. Thank goodness. There's the blueberry. There's the apple. It kind of caved in, but it's all good. It's gonna taste good. Wish you could smell it. Smells amazing. Okay, here is our turkey tonight. It's a smoked, fully cooked smoked turkey from Costco. And this is 11.59 pounds and it cooks um, in the oven at 350 degrees for 12 minutes per pound. So we're looking at about oh, two hours and 20 minutes if you wanna get technical, but two and a half hours. But I'm not gonna do it in the oven. We are gonna test out our new roaster from Aroma. Uh, I've got this at um, gosh, Walmart for $20 on clearance. So I am guessing we're going to move it to 350 and 
let it cook in here. So that way I have room in the oven for the rolls and the stuffing. Making our Christmas memories. I've been working so much lately. I can barely find the time to sleep. Yeah, I spend my time running around, keeping people pleased. But this is my favorite holiday. It's a chance to start over new. Cause I missed you so I'm letting go of everything but you. These are the good times with you Baby, this year is just gonna be you and me Hang by the fire and chill Isn't this how it's supposed to be? Making our Christmas memories, oh And I've been longing to hold you close Forget about everyone else Isn't this how it's supposed to be? Making our Christmas memories Oh oh La da 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 oh 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 La da 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 oh 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 La da 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 Making our Christmas memories I've been wrapping presents for you I've been hanging marbles on the tree And I've lit my house with Christmas lights So you should come back home to me up in the morning I'm gonna play those carols that you love We'll be singing all the melodies Until the sun comes up These are the good times with you Baby. Alright, I'm gonna let these rise until they double I'm gonna cover this with a cheesecloth And let them do their thing And let them rise And then we'll get them in the oven at 375 degrees all right, Derek is vacuuming, such a big help. And I'm about to set the table. So this is what it looked like before. And I'm gonna get this all set and ready to go. Making our Christmas memories. to let it because it's brand new and we haven't used it yet we had to let it burn for a half hour so now we can get it in so we're literally like 30 minutes behind with the turkey but this could cook it faster we're gonna keep an eye on it the internal temp has to be 145 degrees so but if not that's okay it's hot I just burnt my finger oh no this is gonna roast for two and a half hours at 350 degrees. I'm so excited to see how this all turns out with this. I ironed this tablecloth several times and I've tried using a steamer, a small one that we have, but it doesn't work the best, so I really need to invest in a steamer, but it's okay. Once the table was all set, it didn't look bad at all. at my feet with me halfway under the table chilling while I get it ready. I did grab the tablecloth and napkins from Hobby Lobby this year. All the floral that I'm using here is from Joann's. They had it for like 60 or 70 percent off so I was super excited about that. So I grabbed some twigs and a garland and decided to run that across the table to bring color all throughout. So see, once it's set, you can't even tell I've got a wrinkly tablecloth. Okay, these are big, they look good. I'm gonna get them in the oven for 375 degrees for 15 to 20 minutes. 
Oh, would you look at these rolls? They look so good. I can't wait to try them. Now it's time to make the cornbread stuffing. I am running a little behind, so I decided instead of doing it in the oven, I was just gonna do it over the stove top. So I'm just following the instructions with boiling the water with a seasoning packet and butter. I always say taste test something before the day of your dinner, but this is the first time I'm trying it today, so I'm crossing my fingers that it's good. Now I'm just chopping up some onions and celery for the stuffing. It smells amazing. I can't wait to try this. So now this is just gonna sit in the pot and stay warm. I'm gonna cover it and then fluff it up right before we need to put it in the bowl and serve it up. These pans are amazing, by the way. We found them at Costco. They're fantastic. Look, Derek, I'm cutting butter in a pan with a knife. I feel like this is so wrong. So I just sauteed up the onions and celery for another stuffing. I have a box of Mrs. Coverson's stuffing. So I'm gonna make a backup just in case. But I'm not gonna make this like how I usually make it. I'm just following their instructions on the back and putting it in the oven, using some chicken stock to moisten them up, and then we'll get this in the oven. Okay, we're gonna try the Nantucket style cranberry pie. So you take it out of the box and let it thaw with the wrapping off. So I took that off and this will thaw for about an hour or two. And then they say to flip it like onto a plate and take the top off and let it thaw some more and you're good to go. Oh, would you look at this? This is beautiful. I hope it tastes good because I've been dying to try this. If you've tried this and liked it, let us know in the comments. All right, time to start on that charcuterie board, grazing board, whatever you wanna call it. I picked up all these salamis at Costco. So I am gonna try my best to create something on this board. I'm about 40 minutes behind schedule, so I'm a little frantic at this point, but I do wanna put something together. And this is the mushroom brie cheese that we got at Trader Joe's. <laughs> And then I found this dill Harvardi cheese at Smith's. It was so good. I could have eaten that whole package of cheese cubes. They were so good. I'm just trying to make it look pretty with placement. With everything that I learned going to two charcuterie board classes, they were so fun. I was trying to remember how to make the roses and I was like, forget it. I, I don't remember, let's just get this board made. So I had some club crackers and just laid them out on the board. I picked up some beautiful crisp grapes from Trader Joe's. They were, oh, they were so good. And then I have some smoked Gouda cheese that I'm just quartering up and then going to slice them so they can easily have a piece of Gouda on a cracker with some meat. Have fun making these boards. It's really just for the eye, but I love having lunches like this and making a board. I'd like to get into making more boards. If that is something that you're interested in, let me know. And if you want to check out Oakford Gourmet, I'll leave her Instagram down below. I've been to one of her classes, had so much fun. We learned a lot about cheese and placements on the board. It was so cool. Check her out down below. Okay, by now the guests have arrived. So Courtney's getting her appetizer ready over in the family room. Her artichoke dip was amazing. Our turkey is done and in fact it cooked way faster in this roasting pan. I started on the green beans. I have the gravy going, that's heating through and that's from Costco. Our friends brought a yummy cherry pie. Oh my goodness. We're serving the sparkling ciders from Trader Joe's and water. Okay, the 
this gravy is looking good, nice and hot. I'll pour that into the gravy boat in just a minute. I'm just sauteing these green beans up with some olive oil. I'm gonna hit it with garlic. I ended up not doing the bacon because I forgot. <laughs> oh my goodness, you guys, the turkey, yummy. The sweet potatoes, yummy. Both stuffings, yummy. And our friends, cheesy potatoes, hit it out of the park. They were so good. Dinner was so, so yummy. I had a big plate, it was delicious. And dessert was good. I will have to say I was not a fan of this cranberry tart. I was bummed. I didn't really care for it. We had a fun night. Our guests stayed for quite a while. We talked, we laughed, and now it's time to clean up. All a good sign of a good time. <laughs> it's a lot of work, but the leftovers are fantastic. The kids are so excited about the leftovers. In fact, Jonah really loved the Trader Joe's cornbread stuffing over my stuffing, even though it wasn't fully my full recipe. So for this Thanksgiving, I bought quite a few boxes of the Trader Joe's cornbread stuffing and that's what we're gonna serve up. I am gonna dress it up a bit. I'm gonna add some celery, some onions, some mushrooms, an egg, and bake it in the oven. We were having dinner for the first round of dishes, and so I'll empty this. But when we served dinner, the only dishes were these dishes, but I had a lot more stuff in the sink. So, I'm gonna let you in on a little secret. If you have a kitchen like mine that you can't block up your sink and stuff, and you need to serve food right by the sink, Mary, I suggest a crazy idea, but it works. You can either grab a laundry basket and put your dirty dishes in it and put that basket somewhere, okay? <sighs> Done it a lot. Cause I just, you don't have time to do dishes with your guests there and everything. Ugh. You can bring it into your food room or pantry and just put them on the floor in a pile and get to them later after your guests leave. Yep, that's what I'm doing. We love making turkey soup after Thanksgiving with our turkey. I save all the bones and everything and then I make a big pot of it. I put it in a big stew pot, add it with a bunch of herbs, start making the bone broth. Oh, it's so good. I do have a video on how you can make that. It is linked below. I opened up the Trader Joe's cranberry sauce tonight and the big Costco cranberry sauce and they're both really good. I would say that the Trader Joe's has more of that cranberry bitter, which is great, um, and the Costco is a little sweeter, so. But they're both great. I'm happy with both the cranberry sauces. Here is the turkey. I'm going to make turkey soup with the carcass here and then I've got extra turkey for leftovers the rolls are bagged up so I'm gonna get this in the fridge here's the rest of the leftovers and those are going in the fridge well friends that was Friendsgiving we love doing this we love getting together with our friends all right friends thanks for watching we'll see you soon bye <laughs>